I came from a family、um, that has a lot of teachers. So my uncle, my cousins, my grandmother,、um, my, a lot of my relatives, they're teachers. That kind of、um, lead to my decision to become a teacher. I'm very proud of、uh, the change that's happening in our program, in the Chinese program. We're moving away from the old textbook-oriented、um, method to more、um, theme-based,、um, more、um, task-based learning experience. So many <laughs> favorite classes I have memories. One is the global investigate trip. Um, when I first came here, I went on a trip for three years in a row, and I really enjoy going on the trip with the students. It makes a lot sense to me、um, to go on the trip with the students now currently in my、um, classroom because now I can see how they interact, how they are using their language in their real life situation. I'm the kind of the first generation immigrant, so my our whole family, so my husband's family and my family, the entire family, are all back in China. I still remember the day that I got on the plane, and I wish that it would never, it would never land because I didn't know like where to go. I didn't, I know nothing, and I didn't contact anyone. So I landed at the airport, and I got a taxi, and the taxi <laughs> drove me to my door. There was a story about a little、um, girl asking her dad, "What's behind the mountains?" And the dad always say, "Oh, you know, there are mountains behind the mountains." And the dad say, "I've never been there, so maybe you should go. As the next generation, you should go." Every generation asks the same question, but never have the people thought about going, you know,、uh, across the mountain to see what's really behind that mountain. And then the one day, the girl finally got the courage to go, you know, across the mountain. There must be one generation have to do the thing so that you know, the younger generation can see what's really behind that mountain.